Hello, I'm Dr. Alexis Reed of the 100% Chemical Free Skincare Line Eco Chic Movement. So today I wanted to answer a question that I've been getting asked a lot lately, and it is, is our sunscreen safe in babies under the age of six months? So I just want to set the scene for you for a minute. I'm here at my cottage, so I thought it was an appropriate time to do a sunscreen post. It's a beautiful day. I've got my sunscreen on. So the short answer is yes it is safe for babies under the age of six months, but I wanted to take some time to explain why. So I'm going to post a link below, and it's an article from the FDA's website that was written by a pediatrician, and she's talking about why you shouldn't use chemical-based sunscreens in babies under six months. So the recommendation to avoid under six months is based on chemical-based sunscreens, and the reason for that is something that I've talked about before, because babies have a, a big surface area to their body weight. So they have more skin than body compared to an adult. They have immature detoxification processes, and they also have a higher body fat percentage. So any of these chemicals that they're exposed to are going to sequester or hang out in their fat and be released over time as they grow. They also can't detoxify them as well as we can, so it's a bigger risk factor for them. When I'm talking about conventional chemical-based sunscreens. I'm talking about your copper tone, banana boats, the usual that you would pick up off the shelf at the drugstore or Walmart. Uh, our natural-based sunscreen is composed of zinc oxide as the active ingredient. So zinc oxide is one of the 17 ingredients approved by both Health Canada and the FDA as a sunscreen ingredient. So it acts as a physical barrier, stays on top of the skin a little more, you may have noticed. You can, it will rub in, it just needs a little more elbow grease than the other kinds you may have used in the past, and it protects against both UVA and UVB rays. Uh, zinc oxide might be a familiar component to some parents in the crowd because it is one of the main ingredients of a lot of natural diaper creams. Uh, it's not something that I use in my diaper cream, not because I'm concerned about its safety at all, but just because I think there's other things that work better. And zinc oxide is under the heading of generally regarded as safe by both the FDA and Health Canada. Another thing that I speculate may be a reason behind the sunscreen under six months of age is most babies aren't mobile at six months of age. So sunscreen is not our only defense from the sun. We have other mechanisms to use, such as covering up, being in a shady area, and these are easier to employ in a baby under six months because they're not running around. You can set them in a shady area and they will stay there for the most part. With that, one thing I do want to mention is, although we are trying to avoid sunburns, because there is a lot of evidence that suggests, especially before the age of 18, but any sunburn can increase the risk of skin cancer, we don't want to be avoiding sun exposure altogether, because then we're missing out on the benefits of the sun, like vitamin D. Especially those of us who are in Canada, like me, and in the northern U.S., we, the angle of the sun is only such that we receive vitamin D absorption through our skin, from May to October. So we're only able to do it six months of the year to begin with. And all that we need to get adequate absorption is approximately 10 minutes of exposed skin per day. Uh, vitamin D, plenty of research has been done. More is being done all the time. But some of the big areas that vitamin D is helpful in is the immune system, bone development, and can help prevent some cancers. So I hope that helps answer your question, and if you have any other questions that you'd like me to answer, if you want to leave them in the comments below, I'll get back to you. Thank you.